Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. Thanks for stopping by today. I am so excited. Today's video is in collaboration with Cindy over at Monarch Mom DIY. If you have not seen Cindy's channel, you've got to go take a look. Her DIYs are just amazing. She uses mostly Dollar Tree supplies and does some patriotic, which she's doing right now, some beach decor, farmhouse decor. Please go over, tell her I sent you, and subscribe to her channel. The theme we have for you today is patriotic. So Cindy is doing things for the US, 4th of July, and I'm doing some things for Canada Day, which is July 1st. I'm using this old light fixture that I found at my cottage and I'm just going to give it a coat of sort of an off-white latex paint. This is going to be sitting outdoors so I didn't want to use chalk paint. While I wait for the paint to dry, I'm going to use this one and a half inch spade bit to countersink a hole into a piece of wood that I'm using as the base of the lantern. I'm also using the glass part that came with this light fixture. I think it's really neat. The shape of it is very unique. I have the light fixture upside down. What you're looking at is the part that would normally go into the wall. So I just wanted things to look a little different. I'm just hot gluing the glass right onto the light fixture. This is the hole in the piece of wood that the spade bit created for me and it's just deep enough to be able to fit the light socket right inside. Normally I would use some permanent glue like my favorite glue which is Weld Bond. I'll have a link for that in the description box below but I didn't bring it to the cottage with me and this is where I'm at doing these crafts for you today. So I'll have to just make do with hot glue and bring my other glue next time just to make it more of a permanent hold. I removed this little lantern piece from a small lantern that I picked up at the dollar store and I'm just going to hot glue that in place right on top. I also found a little maple leaf that must have fallen off of something else. It was just sitting in one of the drawers and so I thought it would be the perfect addition to my lantern. This next project is super easy. I found this piece of wood that I'm going to use for a sign. And I'm just gonna take the same paint and paint two inches in on all four sides of the panel. I found this sign at the Dollar Tree and I just thought it was the perfect little sign. It has an elk on it, Happy Canada Day, and then it has a whole bunch of symbols that mean Canada. So maple syrup and the maple leaf and the beaver. So it was just really sweet. All I'm gonna do is hot glue this baby right onto the board, but first I'm just gonna add a couple pieces of string so I have something to hang it with. It originally came with a red ribbon, but I didn't like that. I wanted it to be more rustic. I'll have Cindy at Monarch Mom's channel link down in my description box. So when you're done with my video, please go over and see what she's creating for our collab. Project number three is using these very glittery maple leaves that were also part of a sign from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to dry brush some of the white on top of them just to dull down that sparkle a little bit, but I still want to have some of that red peeking through. I just love fishing and I go fishing a lot when I'm at my cottage, so I thought it would be appropriate to create a little fishing design with these maple leaves. I'm using some fishing supplies. What I have in my hand right here is a leader. I've got some red and white bobbers and a couple of red lures and I'm just going to place them 
onto the maple leaf and then glue the other one on top. So it's, it was a little bit fussy trying to get things all organized and figured out how I was going to do it, but I think it turned out pretty cute in the end. If you're coming over from Monarch Mom DIY, I'd like to say welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I do a lot of thrift store flips, trash to treasure, and budget-friendly home decor. This last project was pretty simple too and I think it turned out to be my favorite. I have this Canada flag that's a little too small for our big flagpole that's out on our dock so I decided to create another little flag design with it. This little piece of wood I found in my garage and I'm just going to hot glue the flag right on top of the wood. It's just going to give the flag some support so it doesn't flop around too much. I'm going to attach the flag to this paddle. You can't see the whole thing, but you will shortly. It's been at our cottage for a really long time. The bottom part of it is starting to rot away, but someone painted it red once upon a time. It's gotten really rustic and old and weathered, and I thought it would just be a perfect Cottage Canada Day display. I'm just going to cut the rope and then use my hot glue again to secure it onto the board. I'll do the same thing to the other side of the paddle. I would like to thank Cindy over at Monarch Mom for joining me in this collab. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate your support. See you in the next one.